Okay, uh, the next topic that I want to discuss is the 5G channel bandwidth and its efficiency. How a 5G channel bandwidth is more efficient compared to the legacy LTE. So, so let's have a look at that. Now, firstly, we know that in the LTE, we usually have the maximum channel bandwidth of 20 megahertz. So if this is my, my bandwidth, so I have a 20 megahertz channel. But in 5G, we can go up to 100 megahertz. See, so uh, that just shows that just looking at these two parts, we can see that 5G is, let's say, five times more, has five times more bandwidth. So that means five times more capacity, right? Now, having said that, uh, the question might arise that in LTE, we can use carrier aggregation. So let's say I have five LTE carriers, then they will look like something like this. So uh, 20 megahertz into five, so I can still use 100 megahertz on LTE. So what makes 5G special in comparison? So let's have a look at it from this perspective. Now in LTE, every 20 megahertz channel, it needs a guard band on both sides. So one megahertz here, one megahertz here. Similarly, this channel will lead, will need one megahertz here, one megahertz here, and so on. So every channel will need some guard band in 20 megahertz. So you are wasting two megahertz of the, of the channel in guard band and 18 megahertz is being used. So in short, it means is that if you have 100 megahertz bandwidth and you use LTE for 5cc carrier aggregation, you can, you can actually only use 90 megahertz, while 10 megahertz will be wasted as a guard band. But on the 5G end, all 100 megahertz is a single channel. So you will not have any wastage of guard band, maybe a couple of RBs on both sides for uh, the guard on the end but overall the channel efficiency based on bandwidth will be much much higher because it is one continuous channel moreover you can further have carrier aggregation for 5g as well so maybe you can have two cc carrier aggregation with 200 two in 200 megahertz channels that will further increase it to 200 megahertz and if you move towards the the higher end of the band let's say 28 gigahertz uh, or N257 and 258. So in those cases, you can have 400 and 800 megahertz as well because uh, we have a lot of bandwidth over there available in the 28 gigahertz channel bandwidth. So in that case, the capacity will be much, much higher. So uh, this is how, uh, if, uh, if I just quickly show you how uh, the 5G bandwidth um, is more efficient and it gets more capacity on it, that is how it will look like. I hope I hope this is a short one. Uh, I hope this uh, clarifies any doubts on the bandwidth efficiency.